before the falling. With proud thanksgiving, a mother for her children, England mourns for her dead across the sea. Flesh of her flesh there were, spirit of her spirit, fallen in the cause of the free. Solemn the drums thrill, death august and royal, sing sorrow up into immortal space. There is music in the midst of desolation, and a glory that shines upon our tears. They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end against odds encountered. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall grow not old, <clears throat> as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. And we that are left grow old with the years, remembering the heartache, the pain, and the tears. 
hoping and praying that never again man will sink to such sorrow and shame. The price that was paid, we must always remember every day, every month, not just in November. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row, then mark our place, and in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly scarce amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep. Though poppies grow in Flanders fields. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. As we meet in the presence of God, we commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between nations that all people may together live in freedom, justice, and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability, and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken away. 
ever-living God. We remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life, hear our prayer and thanksgiving for all whom we remember this day. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love and bring us all with them to your eternal joy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, strength forth, stretch forth your mighty arm to strengthen and protect the armed forces. Grant that meeting danger with courage and all occasions with discipline and loyalty, they may truly serve the cause of justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May God grant to the living joy, to the departed peace, to the Queen and the Commonwealth, his blessing and his blessing be upon us this day. Amen.
Lieutenant, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen. As Mayor of Sunderland, I am proud to welcome you all here today on behalf of the people of the city. Remembrance Sunday is an important opportunity for our city and its communities to come together to pay a tribute to those who have fought in conflicts past and present and the many who have given up their lives for their country. It is equally important that we use this occasion to honour the servicemen and women of today and let them know how much we value what they do and appreciate the sacrifices they have made on our behalf. The sad loss of those young men from the city who have lost their lives, particularly in more recent conflicts in Northern Ireland, Iraq and Afghanistan and elsewhere across the world, will be especially close to our hearts as we remember all those who have paid the ultimate price. I would like to take this opportunity to remember and pay tribute to two veterans who sadly passed away this year, Ted Hold and Wallace Hepburn, both who are sadly missed. Today we are joined by the bands of the Royal Corps of Signals and the Bear Park and Esh Colliery Band. So may I also welcome Sunderland's Affiliated Regiment, 4th Regiment, Royal Artillery, 21 Engineer Regiment, the Light Dagoons, 5 Armoured Medical Regiment, 3 Rifles, Gurkha Company, RF Bulmer and HMS Calipir. My thanks to our World War II veterans, George Waller, who served in the RAF, and Len Gibson of the 125 Anti-Tank Regiment, Royal Artillery, for their poignant words remembering fallen comrades. The armed forces serving the country with such honour, valour and distinction have lasted respect, admiration and gratitude. I hope today helps demonstrate that the world will never forget the sacrifice our servicemen, servicewomen and their families made on our behalf. As Mayor of Sunderland, I am honoured to be involved in today's Remembrance Parade, which helps us all to pay this annual tribute. Thank you.